Let's talk about setting up a dedicated oil dark field condenser. This is a dark field condenser and dark field is the only thing that it does. When you first get your condenser, sometimes it's nice to just flip it around and uh, see if it's not physically centered. So you basically look at the ring and uh, around here and by moving the adjustment knobs you can actually eyeball it to the center of the condenser itself. So that is a nice thing to do. I'm going to, this is an oil condenser so we must use immersion oil. I'll put a drop of oil right here in the condenser itself and I'll put it in the microscope putting up into the condenser holder tightening the set screw. Now we'll rotate the condenser up. It's nice to have first a low power objective in place. We will need to turn up our light all the way. With our low power objective in place we um, will start to see some light appearing on the screen. And now we're going to need to start focusing on something. Well, there it is. So this is a 10x objective, low power. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to properly center our condenser. So there's a centering adjustment that we do this way, but there's also a vertical adjustment that we need to do this way. So for starters, we're going to close down the field iris a little bit. And this will give us an idea of where our center is at. We're going to center it a little bit as we can. Now watch what happens when I move the vertical up and down. It's kind of a ring of light around on the outside and as I move it up, boom, I come right to the center. If I continue to move it up, the condenser that is, I start getting this black area again. So what I want to do is come down one way and the other way and I want to get a fine point of light. That now just needs to be moved to the center. If I close my iris assembly down even more, raising and lowering my condenser, I get that point of light and that is called the sweet spot. That's exactly where the vertical adjustment should be for the condenser. Now I open up my field iris and I'm ready to now move my high power objective into place. So we're going to use a 50x oil iris objective. Usually every time we use a oil dark field condenser down here we're usually going to use an oil objective up above we don't have to. We could use a 40x non-oil objective, for instance, up above. We would not want to oil that because that would ruin that objective. But by putting a 40x non-oil objective, in fact, we could use our phase contrast objective, we'll have a pretty nice view on the monitor. But here we're going to go to a 50x. Once we go above 50x, usually there's always going to be an iris assembly on that objective. We're going to put a drop of oil right onto our slide on the cover slip. We're going to move our objective into the oil, move it back and forth a little bit, setting it in place. I'm going to open up my iris assembly all the way and I'm going to make an adjustment. Oh, and there we have dark field. Now if I were using a 100x objective, with a 100x objective when I open up the field, or not the field iris, the uh, iris on the objective here, this would actually go white. So I would actually have to close down the iris in the objective a little bit and um, that would bring the dark field into view. With a 50x usually opened up all the way we can close it down a little bit and it will increase the resolution. I should actually put my hand over here so you can see the monitor. And um, that's it. So that's uh, our dark field imaging. Keep in mind the vertical adjustment that must be made and the centering adjustment that must be made on this condenser here 
Use the field iris for that purpose to get it more centered and to find that sweet spot vertically for this condenser. And then remember you also have an iris adjustment right up here. And all three of these things play a part in getting a high quality dark field image. You also have, have an adjustment on the light itself in terms of light intensity. And there's a few adjustments that you can make electronically with the camera in terms of shutter, automatic gain control, and um, automatic white balance with the camera itself. Working all of these things, you'll have a very high quality dark field image.